All right, guys, just splitting up some of this firewood really quickly. The, uh, the saw basically did all the wood that I need into about these one inch rounds, but that thing just cuts through wood like nothing. Now, these rounds that I have out of this tree are somewhat wet because it's been raining all day and all day yesterday. So I'm gonna leave them round. I've got the place underneath of the fire pit just a bit. So all that heat's gonna pound into it and dry it out. All the other hardwood and softwood mix that I have here will burn very, very good. So what I'm gonna do is take all the twig matter that I've got stocked off to the side here, load up the fire pit, get a couple rounds on there and uh, light the fire and kick back and set that chair up. It's not really raining a whole lot. It's spitting with rain, but I don't think I'm gonna really need that tarp. And honestly, if I put the tarp out, it's gonna be underneath the fire pit. It's probably not gonna fare too well. So I think we're just gonna kinda do it just like this, you know, just out in the open, have some fun with it. Uh, if it rains, it rains, I'll just go inside, no biggie. So Boomer is, uh, he's running around here looking for some firewood, wondering what he can have to play with. He's already taken off with about five or 10 pieces. You want that one? <laughs> so I'm gonna get the ax put away and uh, break up some twig matter, get it inside the fire pit. And hopefully very soon, uh, we'll have a nice hot fire. I still need to collect water. I keep saying that because I'm looking in the forest, it's soaking wet. All the trees that I cut the other day are all crisscrossed and the bark is off them and it is like stepping on an ice rink. It's super slippery. So I really don't want to go back there and end up breaking my neck, but I do want that fresh stream water out of there tonight so I can have morning coffee. So I think I'm just gonna suck it up and get down there and get that water. Come back up here. I still do need to have a shower too because I am absolutely drenched in sweat and there's no way I'm going in there tonight soaked in sweat nasty feeling you know so I am going to get the fire or the, the shower fired up uh, momentarily either before or after the fire it makes sense to do it after the fire but I may do it before and just sit back because the smoke's going to go that way so enough talk let's continue on with some work and then I do need to set up the star link because if I don't message Kendra she's going to panic because I told her if I don't message you by about seven eight o'clock two things. One, the Starlink didn't work, or two, the bus got stuck. And I'm really, really angry that it got stuck. <laughs> so I do have to set that up and message her and let her know everything's good. And uh, yeah, carry on with the night. So what I'm doing with the Starlink is I'm just going to run the cable inside through one of these windows up top because they don't open that much and it's on the non-wind side. So realistically if it starts raining overnight it's only going to be open a tiny little crack on the non-windy side. I don't think anything's going to happen. I've slept like that many times inside the bus and haven't had any issues. So just untangling this cord. I want to do it in a way where it's going to go under the bus so I'm not stepping on it or it's not next to the fire because these cords aren't exactly cheap. So I'm going to route it just underneath right now, toss it up through this back window here because that's the closest window to all my battery units. So we just feed it in there and then the modem is inside of course. So we won't have to worry too much about that. Uh, this reaches quite far. Uh, wirelessly so I don't need to be like on top of the modem for it to work so that is definitely a bonus so that'll stay like that I'll go inside grab it plug it into the modem and then tuck this wire underneath probably around the tire somewhere where it's gonna stay protected so that'll take care of that really quickly All right, so I've got the modem plugged in and uh, already you guys can see how late and dark it's getting. So time is definitely getting away from me. So I've got the modem up here, the wire coming in through that window, it's partially shut. 
break down into the battery unit. So let's go ahead and fire this up. Power on. And we're at 86%, by the way. I should mention that it was 100 when I left. It knocked off 8% of battery life just to make that one coffee. Because anytime you make heat with electricity, it chews it up. So that was our luxury cup of coffee. Not that we have a shortage of power here. I mean, come on, we've got enough here to last a week. Uh, but the other little bit went into my Tribit Bluetooth speaker because I'm gonna be playing games later tonight and watching a movie. So I want some surround sound that makes this bus thump. Uh, so we're at 86%, turn on the AC on. The fan spin up there and Starlink is now on. So the dish is gonna do its thing, rotating, trying to find a signal. Our output right now is, waiting for it to equalize here. Uh, we're at 16 watts output for AC, 18 watts with an estimated runtime of, so it's leveled out right there, of 60 hours. 60 hours continuously. Plus right now the motor's moving the dish so it's actually using a lot more power than it does in its steady state. Usually it runs about five watts. So right now, 19 watts. Uh, so it'll find its signal, do its thing. And then I'll fire off a quick message to Kendra, let her know I'm all right. And uh, no, I'm definitely not gonna be one of those channels that are reliant on the Starlink. It is getting so overused on so many channels. People get out into the woods and then they set this thing up and they're like glued to it. And if they can't get it set up or get a signal, they move. I'm like, what are you doing? This is ridiculous. You're out camping, camp. Leave everything alone and just camp. So today, obviously luxury camping, uh, more or less off-grid living. I can't even call this camping. But um, yeah, we got the Starlink running. This is gonna be used for doing all kinds of things, uploading photos, videos. Uh, living off grid because we don't have internet out here. So that's going to do its thing. I'm going to head outside and continue getting some things squared away for this evening. So just doing a really quick test of the shower system. Everything looks like it's going to work. Propane, battery, water, soap, everything is out here. Just got to strip down, grab my towel, shower up really quickly right here outside, run inside, get changed, and then campfire time.
right guys, got the campfire going, ripping and roaring. It took a little bit because the wood's really wet, but now we got a really good coal base in there and a lot of steam starting to roll off all the pieces of wood next to the fire. So I'd say we're in for a pretty decent fire tonight. We've got all kinds of really dry, really super burnable pine and spruce. Like these are the roots out of the tree. And there's a lot of resin in this, so a lot of fat wood. This will burn really, really hot. So I'll save that for later on. Try and burn some of this damp stuff for now. And I gotta say, this is definitely relaxing. There's all kinds of little songbirds around here. And that's what I love about this property, is the absolute silence. Other than the wind, the fire, the birds, this place is so remote. It is deafening silent on a very still day, and I love it. So we're definitely going to have some fun out here tonight, Boomer and I. And uh, enjoy the campfire until it's time to jump inside and enjoy some luxuries of the bus. Alright guys, sitting outside in front of the campfire for quite a while now and it is just about darkness outside so with a little bit of light that I have inside and outside I'm just doing some final prep and clean up for the evening. Right now I'm just going to hang my curtains. So I made these blackout curtains custom for every window on this bus including the front and they're very thick for thermal value in the winter as well. So when I have the diesel heater, heater or the wood stove on this really cuts the draft and really helps this bus warm up. For tonight, I am going to leave two of these windows open and two on this side. And I'm going to basically open up the curtain to where I need it to vent in. And if it does pick up the rain, I can shut them. I've got the fan with me as well, so I could turn that on. But uh, I just want to get these hung right now. I know I'm out in the middle of nowhere, but I just, I don't know. I always get like that, that weirded out feeling when I'm in a vehicle and the lights are on and like people can see in you know what I mean I just I don't know I just get really weirded out by that uh, not that I'm like worried about anybody I can handle my myself you know I can hold my own but uh, I just I just don't like the feeling of it, it just creeps me out so I'm gonna hang these and uh, get it nice and cozy in here and it also helps especially right now during the summertime with uh, very early sunrises sometimes the Sun comes up way earlier than I anticipate it to and uh, well the sunlight comes in so this way it'll actually block out a lot of that really early sunlight and then I can just kind of wake up to normal sunlight when I feel like waking up so I'm just gonna hang these get these nice and tight I did make a separate panel for this window back here for this exact reason so I can leave this open and part of that window actually extends into the bedroom behind this triangle window so I'm gonna leave that guy off for now and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go all the way around the bus, get all the windows totally closed off, so then when I do come inside, I can flick on all the lights, get the LED light strips on, and have a really awesome vibe in here. All right, everybody, it is total nightfall outside right now. The campfire is basically gone out. I've come inside now, so I've got one warm light on. That's kind of like my desk lamp over there. I've got another desk lamp on back here, and these can switch from white to warm. So right now they're on warm, and I believe there's bright. Yeah, so this one just dimmed down. There that one is as bright as it will go. That one can go a bit brighter. The overhead lights. I'm going to shut off in just a moment, but I am going to get the AC turned on this battery unit here. I'm just going to find the on switch. Turn that on, 
And that will turn on all of my LED strips, which are down here in the shelf, up underneath the windowsill, giving this a really awesome vibe. So turning this light off and this light off, I can chill out here just like this and I can switch the color to blue, red, whatever we want to do. We're going to rock the teal for a little bit. Keep the remote up there so I can turn it on, off, whatever I want to do, dim it or brighten it. Uh, but for now, I'm basically going to kick back and relax. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the night vibe in here with the curtains up. It is super cozy in here. And like I said, I've got Starlink, I've got the PS5, and I've got the TV. Plus, I've got all kinds of movies saved to my phone. So, it is going to be a night full of entertainment, Boomer and I. And yes, he can actually jump up on top of the bed, believe it or not. He jumps up and he claws into here, move my phones out of the way, and he can actually make it up here, no joke. I'll see if he can even get up here right now. <coughs> Boomer, come. Come on. <laughs> he doesn't want to come up right now, but believe it or not, he can jump and he grabs a hold of the side. I bet you later on when I jump up there and I ignore him, he's going to start to whimper and whine and he's going to jump up there with the Jack Russell that's in them. So TV remote over here, PlayStation controller charged up. You know what time it is. It's time to say good night and I'll catch up with you first thing in the morning. Good night, guys.
Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful, silent, cloudy, overcast day today. So looking up in the sky, there are no pockets of light. And it looks like it's going to be pretty cloudy. It doesn't feel like it's going to rain as it did pour with rain. Absolutely poured with rain last night. The bus was just tapping away on the roof. The birds are out full force this morning. If you can hear those guys chirping away at about 5 a.m. It is 7 a.m. right now. So definitely a good night's sleep last night. And we got the wind pushing through right now. A nice cool breeze. It is absolutely enjoyable out here. So I've got my cup of hot coffee on the go right now. I'm gonna sit outside, enjoy this, and then basically head on inside, make up a quick breakfast, and see where the day takes us from there. So cheers guys and good morning. All right, everybody, 
sitting back enjoying some hot breakfast oatmeal and dehydrated strawberries very simple this morning as i do have a ton of work to do so yesterday as i mentioned kendra and orion are coming out here in the truck and we're basically going to be spending the day out here together back in the woods doing some off-grid property management so on that channel destination wilderness is where this is going to pick up you guys go over to that channel follow the entire build process which is going to last a couple of years on that channel developing this property and all of our fun little adventures so today i basically got to eat up and clean up get everything situated in the bus and basically make room for them and get them all situated in here and we're going to be staying another night here in the bus together this time which is going to be pretty fun uh, i got the tv so we're going to watch some movies i built this high enough intentionally when i had my other children young so a playpen can fit under here so orion's playpen actually fits under here no problem which is also going to be his crib so we're going to get everything situated in here for baby mode and uh, basically kick back and relax later this evening. You guys can check out this entire day on the other channel. You can see what happened, everything way back on the property, and like I said, follow the whole adventure. So right here on Lone Wolf 902, I'm going to finish up breakfast and like I said, basically just get ready for them. So I'm not going to be packing anything up today. So I might as well end the video right here. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this adventure. And like I said, if you want to see more, definitely check out more videos on the channel as well as the other channel. So thank you and peace out. I'll catch you in the next adventure.